What's up guys? This is the Broferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War 3 campaign as the Swedish Empire. And so to pick up where we left off, we captured the cities of Paris and Reims, which is massively significant for us. And Paris is not yet brought under our control, but it soon will be. And one of the big things that's happened is I have gone and removed... Oh damn, I thought I removed the removement. I thought it removed the appropriate cap for the merchantman. Um, apparently not, but everything else is now no longer limited. So if you go back to st go back to uh, Stockholm, we have our entire roster available, which I think is probably the best decision to make. Um, it feels like if I'm, ooh, it feels like if I've got um, the capacity to re to recruit more men, then I want to use it. Like, I've got 130,000 odd, so I think it would be a bit silly to not be able to use it. Oh, you require one more. Damn. In Delta, just get them on a long walk down to Hanover. Um, but that means that in certain ports, I can, well, I can start to recruit more um, sloops or sloops and brigs to garrison in my frontier areas. We have Mr. Backstrom is going to head west to Khan. And knock out, uh, will secure the Normandy coast. This force here at France is going to hold their ground and replenish. This force here at Reims may well begin to move south, start to engage some of these smaller armies. And this force here is going to fall back to our territory and fully replenish before driving east to take Strasbourg because that would significantly weaken this French position here. But overall, things are going really well. Obviously, we want to start preparing sooner or later for the invasion of Great Britain, but I'd like to do that with a strong position here against the Spanish. Um, the Spanish border here probably will probably take all of mainland um, France. Then we can start to explore fighting against Russia and invading um, Britain at the same time. In terms of technologies, Orléans is currently being un unused, but it's because we're going to change it to a supply warehouse, although... We can make it research while it's being dismantled. It can't do anything completely yet. But it can contribute towards Steam Engine while it still exists, I think. Apart from that, we are just... Well, we haven't hit end turn yet. We, haven't, we don't know what the uh, response is going to be to our capture of Sweden. Capture of Paris, I should say. Let's get this agent aboard ship. Um, but yeah, things are going rather well. We've got our agent... Who's keeping an eye on the front near Dresden? Because obviously that does that's potentially a bit a bit dangerous for us. Although that might be where this army deploys. They may deploy um, in Hanover to advance across the river and maybe take Stras maybe take Dresden, maybe. But let's hit end turn before we get too comfortable. Let's see how the Kingdom of France responds to the loss of their capital city. Actually, I didn't check where their replacement capital went. I, don't, I didn't see where, where it would go. Based on what I'm seeing at the moment, see, Torino, Marseille isn't... Maybe... Um, Toulouse? Ooh, uh-oh. Hessen is vulnerable. We may have to move our army against... God, the French have a lot of agents there. We may have to move our army in against the uh, the French at uh, Strasbourg to try to see if we can draw some of the heat away from Hessen because, as we've just said, our uh, front is actually quite vulnerable there. Oh good, the Prussians... No, move south to support your ally. Fortunately, Hessen didn't fall. That's bought us a turn. But the army that's coming from Sweden now will need to march well we will need to sail rapidly although it will take a turn to get them get the troops embarked a turn to land them off the coast and then a turn to advance so maybe the force at reims may well begin marching east if needed i can try and sail that army that's coming from my capital towards the front yeah they're unhappy i know they're unhappy okay can we You're going to put put them under siege for now. 
Yeah, they're pushing uh, Castle in force. Terrier de Gare, Grenadier Francais. Yes, okay. So let's get. Because this last unit of Finnish troops needs to embark. I think the smart thing to do is to get this ship down to Malmo, collect a few of my larger ships so we can sail past this coastal battery, then we can sail and land them off the coast of Khan. I don't think these Reem is going to let us get away with this. They definitely are not. So Mr. Backstrom, you need to advance to Reem's to bring it back and in, back into heel. Mr. Skull the Brand. You're going to have to take the northern route because the southern route's not going to do what we need it to do. But in, in order to try and create ease some of the pressure, to be honest, you might even want to go via Cleves. And then this force here try and la try and land and hit or land on the off the coast of um, Oldenburg to drive south. We can't help them, not directly. But let's get another army recruited. So let's go a bit heavier with our heavy cavalry. Let's, get, let's just go a bit cavalry, more cavalry heavy than we normally do. Get a 12, two howitzers, unit of Chevalier Livegard, and unit of Livegard Jäger, Livegard Rifles. It's going to take some time, but I do want to start cranking out some more Finnish troops. Again, it's quite nice not to have any limits. Okay. I think I think that's got to be the option for now because we need to plug this hole here. But first, take Mr. Roma and attack the garrison at Strasbourg. We have a unit of grenadiers, a depleted cavalry unit, and a bunch of militia. Let's take them out. Strasbourg will be quite uh, important, and I may even fortify the town, being a frontier region um, to the eastern French Empire. I'm going to want to protect it. But let's form up and advance. Thank God they're telling me I need to unlimber the artillery. Oof. The enemy will often try to flank. Quiet, you. So my 12s are going to go to this ground here. My 6s... Yeah, maybe all of my artillery is going to go up there. Form my form a. Oh, this is Mister Mister Roma. So let's advance the main block of infantry towards them. A unit of light foot can try and secure that building. We can put our elite infantry and lifeguard on the right flank. Back them up with two cavalry. Get two cavalry on the left. Howitzers to advance up the front. Mr. Roma with them. Explosive shells. <laughs> I just like, like to think he just goes, Explosive shells! And that's all he says. Give ourselves ambitious targets. You might see a cavalry charge. Let's have a look at some of our elite troops. That's the Vavade. Oh, there's a Kungin Eget Vavade. Looks pretty good. Got a lifeguard regiment, which looks pretty awesome. And the lifeguard rifles. So the enemy isn't exposing himself apart from this uh, Curacy Air Force, so let's just speed up time a little bit. 
because most fundamentally the bulk of their infantry force is just militia so I'm not overly concerned about their ability to stand against our forces especially if the current AI trend is to just clump their uh, troops together we have taken the building sir good taking a building and they can use it as a an anchor point if it's t we've got too many men yeah we do 183 so some of them are going to be stuck outside as reinforcements as their comrades die hello advance our troops up to be honest my lifeguard can my light lat infantry can also join them artillery's not engaging oh no it's unlimbering Interesting. Horse artillery is faster, but we only get the two guns rather than the three. Cavalry charge is away. Um, light horse redeploy to the other flank. The horse guards are more than enough to deal with any potential threats from this flank. Well, how about just try and just unlimber, see how well you do. These gunners can unlimber. Form square to deal with the light horse coming in. It's always a bit prudent to deploy squares either side so they don't the last minute veer off and go hit another unit. Guns are engaging. So they're coming back in again. So I can't give them all the same order because my militia are in Pike Square formation. Keep my artillery firing on reasonable targets. Get my cavalry up. Yeah, you're okay as so uh, as it is, I think. The cavalry is going to chew up that unit of partisans that's exposed back here. My flank here is going to push in hard. There we go. Sprint or dash the last, uh, dash the last leg. You actually going to pivot just to make sure there's not going to be any friendly fire, or there's going to be less of it. Our men are running, sir. Oh wow! Actually routed a full, pretty full unit of cavalry. You don't want to get that chance again though, partisans. My cavalry will come back. There may, may be artillery factors at play. So let's advance these units up. Oh, yeah, they might come back, they might not. My guns should be focusing on their horse guards, which because it's their general unit, they should be a bit cagey with. I 
Okay, they're doing good work on those partisans. They gain an extra experience point. There we go. So the issue is when you're cavalry route is they lose quite a lot of um quite a lot of their what do you call it? Fatigue. That's it. Endurance, I suppose, would be another way of putting it. To be honest, that's a that's a militia unit. My these are foot guards and grenadiers. They should be bayonet charging in that instance. My artillery should be comfortably focusing on the horse guards to the rear. Yeah, there we go. The militia regiment are broken. Chasing them down a little bit because so many they're they're um, more tired than we are, so we can catch up to them. Okay, the artillery is good. Okay, good. That unit shattered. Advance at my infantry. I'm just cagey with that with those cavalrymen. They're we're missing a lot. Okay. Killed their general with our, through artillery fire. Oh, my lifeguard all the way back here. So they're going to charge. Let's see, you men, my foot guards form square. Get ready to throw my cavalry in. I haven't brought my general up. Not that it'll make a significant difference. New men push up. My light dragoons are currently in a good in a good way. My horse guards are also... Well, they were currently just active, especially as they're running the wrong way. Just fall upon them, just to earn a bit more experience. Artillery, ceasefire. These units have held on rather well. Although they are grenadiers. And we've not really been manoeuvring as well as we could have been. Get my light dragoons over to deal with the guns. You men can pivot to face off against the 18th regiment. The enemy cavalry's gone. To be honest, I think going all that cavalry I recruited in that army back in Sweden is a bad idea. Four does seem quite a perfect figure, I think. Ah, oh, poor grenadiers. Hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. So Strasbourg is taken. It's interesting, actually, in um, in Napoleon compared to... Oh, we're going to loot it to get the money. It's funny, really, compared to Empire, where you can rely on your centre just pushing through. It seems like that's just completely the wrong way to play this. Hessen have taken Stuttgart. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Okay, so now we don't have a front line with the French here anymore, but we do have a front line with the Swiss. Who are indifferent to us. So let's begin trading with the Swiss. We don't want to rile them up. Not just yet. So yeah, I'm going to go back here and fix this. My whole pair, to, pair and pair thing worked. Like two lights, two heavies. So let's get a unit of Hazar. And let's recruit a... I've got our two guard infantry units. Let's get a foot Jäger, get a unit of skirmishes recruited. Um, probably also start to churn out some more 80 gun ships of the line because now we have no limit and that's our most powerful ship so we're going to want those but apart from that if you can if we can bring reams into the fold especially as the french have pulled back we can send this force here to go knock out khan and Oren. i think we need to have just some of these territories just perpetually recruiting so we can just garrison Territory is a bit better. That last unit. Yeah, you're just going to run as well. Um, <laughs> okay, all we can do is hit and turn. Actually, let's check our infrastructure. Again, it's top tier. This boy is going to go down towards Marseille. We want to get a better visibility on what's going to be coming through from Italy. Yeah, the gentlemen are all frantically scurrying over towards the east where they've probably captured a university or two. And we're probably going to have French units raiding our holdings in Paris. Or in central France, although it looks like they're just going to... No, nope, there they go. I was just about to say, maybe they're not going to raid us. Yeah, they're, they're, it's completely fine for them to raid us. I would like to build this logging camp. Oh, there's Nelson. There is Nelson. So here come the Prussians. The Prussians are going to actually put troops into the war against France. It looks like Hessen hasn't fallen yet. Nope, still holding. They haven't done well. But if Hessen falls, that's another territory that we can claim from a Prussian ally and fold it into our own empire. Yep, Hessen's still alive even after their turn. Maybe I can't get that technology. Maybe I want to buy it from someone. If I can... <laughs> if someone's got it. Army sabotaged. Oh no. So Mr. Scaldebrand. Actually just get over to the front. Because now we haven't got to worry about them pushing up through Cleves. If they take Castle and we get an army there quick enough. I do want to pick up more ships. To prevent our army getting caught out. So I think we're going to get this army over there in two turns. Say they take a turn. They might blitz. They might blitz through. Well, if they do, they do. Um, in two turns we'll have an army in the region. If we need to, we can probably send a second. But I would like to get you over towards Khan. Start knocking out some of these border territories. A couple of raids. That's fine. France is now under our control. Reims is 
still going to be not very happy with us. Paris is still shrinking because of discontent, but that should go away. <laughs> don't want to tax you. Two more turns till they're brought fully to heal. Our ports are growing. Well, our um, naval capacity is expanding. So Mr. Skullbrand is good. You've been sab sabotaged. You can't march up to Hanover. You're continuing your long walk. Stockholm is recruiting. So what have we built? Cobbled roads, Flanders and Wallonia. So diplomacy, Great Britain is our best is our best ally. Technology. Nope. Oh, they don't have anything to offer us. Okay. They've got steam engine, but we're not bothered about that. Prussia. Nope. The Ottomans. Nope. Spain. Grand battery and steam engine. Russia. Nope. So none of the mages have the technology we need. Do I end up having to send agents to try and steal it? Not that really it makes a huge amount of difference. Workers riot in France. They broke a banking house, but yeah. One more turn, the Staff College Engineer School. And crucially, the Arc Triumph, which is pretty handy for the movement range, will be done. Three more turns, the Court of Appeals at Reims is finished. You've still got a way to go. Strasbourg has come to heal quite quickly, actually. Don't think anything really to do, so let's hit end turn. Yeah, my, ooh, lots of Spanish armies down in... Uh, down in northern Italy. Yes, French agents pushing across into Central Europe. Yes, off they scramble. Yeah, they are gathering strength. They're probably going to break my university upgrade. Yeah, there they go. Again, they're just, they're just going to raid. I am. That's completely fine. We're not um, good. France is going to knock out that. Uh, no, I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Horatio Nelson and Sir Sidney Smith. Wait a minute. That's the guy that Lindy Bay did a video on him that talks about why Napoleon thinks he's such a. Well, why Napoleon doesn't like him? No, I'm not going to get involved. You're freeing my port for me, Britain, you fools. Go on, Prussia. Look at me, armies you've got, and you're just sat there doing jack. Obviously, I don't want to. I don't want them to, to take the Hanover territory. But there we go. They're finally going to move on Dresden. No, they're not. They're just going to run around it very well. God, the Allies suck. It's Sweden that's doing all the heavy lifting. It's Napoleon. Rossi Skaya Imperia. Hessian stands. Okay, I think my plan is getting better and better. Spain is pushing through northern Italy in a strong way. You think they go by boat? Ooh. Yeah, well, your job isn't to actually do anything. It's just to stay here to maintain a watch both on Marseille itself and the passage to Italy. So Spain is raiding their territory, which means because we're not at war with Spain, if the French were to take Kessel, we could capture it and this army would teleport back to Spain because they haven't got any territory in the east Russia's taken Vienna from Napoleon well that's going to bring Russia and Austria into conflict I must say 
Uh, but my fleet is gathered, or has gathered. Give them the attack order. Technological Advance, Joint Stock Company, and you've gone on to Plateways. Unavailable, you have not met the technology. Oh, it's because my factory got raided. Well, my university got raided, it's currently researching it, but that's okay. Um, okay, so. Oh, I've got a spy. Spy in France. Okay. Well, the spy in France can try and infiltrate Madrid. What have they got? Right, small detachment. Can you guys leave Reims yet? <laughs> Minus 10. No, you cannot. This militia can leave Brussels. So they're going to be ready to form a garrison. The Hanover force will do the same in due course. Okay, you've got your first units recruited, so we can pick up a new general. Nils Kvam. He, petty tyrant soldier from birth, <laughs> steady under fire. Uh... No, I don't like that. Minus two morale in battles. That's quite big. Um, especially especially in, in this game, it feels like. Mr. Neumann, congratulations. Enjoy your commission. Right. Everyone's still... There's not a lot to really do at the moment. It's a bummer about that. Although what I could do is send a... Detachment forward up to the bridge. Or just send the detachment forward just to annihilate. Oh, why is it giving me such bad odds? Well, I'm going to have to fight it with those bad odds. Ferd Fernand Grib Gribval. Yeah, they've got two infantry units and a cavalry unit. Granted, they're good infantry and good cavalry. Um, we have a lot of infantry that can all form squares, or squares and defensive positions. So advance my line forward. Advance my line forward, and when they get up to and try and attack me with a cuirassier, that's when we pop everyone into squares, and that's the end of them. Whereas their infantry formation can be surrounded and destroyed by my infantry whenever it exposes itself I wouldn't be surprised if the cuirassier just really don't want to get into battle it's their general units that's why they're not going to be happy about it let's try and move across they might engage us from that range Ah, not so fast. And definitely not anymore once we start to get into line. Yeah, but they're, they're just... They're good infantry. But good infantry will fall. Oh, hello. It's hoping the horse guards would push into range. Let's see if we can... See if we could tempt them into action. Actually, it'd really help if we could get rid of those horse guards by dropping everyone into square. The flank is going to have to run up because these guys will be engaging soon. Let them engage. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. I know, that's that's a bit of a bummer. 
that my general has to be in the line. That's all there is to it. We should be getting handfuls of kills against the Gros Frere. It's the 7th Regiment on the foot that should do the lion's share of the damage. Come on, finish troops. They should be upset at the prospect of being attacked in the flank. Which they are. Get some free kills against their cavalry. Get everyone moving up. They're probably going to come back, but if they do, I want to try and do a lot of damage to the remainder of their force before they come back. See, they're very cagey with the heavy cavalry, even though it's their best unit. Go on, militia. You guys should be making ready and firing now. Especially as they're, well they're winded, so they'll take some time to get back into the action anyway. Don't want to advance... Don't want to get too close to the cavalry. Yeah, there we go. So their infantry is coming back. But these, all of the, both of these units actually are quite upset. It would take them time to form up to get back into a threatening position. it looks like they didn't really want to throw their cavalry into the mix. You're going to pivot and engage the 49th. Drop into square because they've just started moving. They got. They did. They did get close, but not drawn in. Push my general up close. Make everyone else run around the flank. Okay. Let's see if we can. Get everyone into square. As soon as they get touched, they're in. Even low quality militia are enough to deal with the horse guards of the French army. So get everyone out of out of square. Obviously, you have to keep an eye on them in case these guys come back. But in general, I think we're going to be okay, despite what the auto resolve said. So close. The 
we're so close to them. So the other units have come back now. We're going to let them carry on engaging the 49th. You bayonet charge them. Let's see if you can shatter them. And come back to the line. There we go. It speeds up a little bit. For such a minor engagement, it's dragging on a bit. Uh, you're going to go into square, because the, the French infantry are coming. French cavalry are coming, I should say. Not so bothered about this Bjornborg infantry. Yep. Yeah. There goes the general. They should be should be gone for good. Steady. They're very tired, running towards my Bjornborg line. Good. Good stuff. Minor engagement, but these are the kind of little things that we need to do. To sweep our captured territories free of the French swine. Hurrah, hurrah. And then, oh, whoops, the noise started to go a bit funny again. So you men go back to France. You're on your way to, uh, to Madrid. You're back there ready to cause some trouble. But the main thing is, from a tech perspective, we're good. Um, all on, we're just going to repair it. And then let's hit end turn. Ooh, oh no, the French have beaten the Prussians. Will they leave um, Berlin open to attack? The French own Kessel. Castle. So let's see if they will attempt to exploit their current superiority by dispatching troops to Hanover, Cleves or Oldenburg. No, it looks like they're just going to shore up the garrison. Armies from the east. Oh no, that's in that's south of France. Oh, right, I've, I've got it. God, Prussia, you're right next to Dresden. Russia's taken more territory. It looks like... No, my eyes are being funny. Nope, they have not. <laughs> well, it's impressive. Or have they? It's that one there. <laughs> From some angles on my screen, it looks the same as the one below it. But on others, it looks different. Interesting. Don't you do it, Sweden. <gasps> so Sweden's cancelled... Spain's cancelled our trade agreement. Oh, they've now declared... War on us. You land here. Mr. Skordebrand, push up, ready to fight a defensive battle against a significant amount of enemy troops. You can't make land. You're not making much landfall either. Can you leave Reims? What if I exempt you from tax? Minus two. That's not bad. I could probably leave a. To be honest, can't. Looks like it's got nothing of a garrison. But at the same time, I like keeping my armies intact. So let's move you over to. Can we can move a Finnish troop over to Reims to gain a little bit more? There we go, minus one's better. You get back to the capital. 
So you push on to can. General available. Thin pile. Pile. I want pile. Sure as I am. Light infantry done. Let's get two in Delta. I might even just keep a frigate up here shuttling troops between Finland and Sweden because here in Finland we can just focus on recruiting bulk recruiting troops 7,000 per turn oh Spain 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 you devils I was hoping that they declared war they, they broke our trade agreement but did not declare war so that I could attack Castle, destroy this small French force. Although... It's the Roma. Ah, uh, exemption from tax. Uh, not enough. Minus two could work. I could push you up towards Frankfurt to provide an extra threat to the south. Then Orléans transfer to a supply warehouse. Okay, all well my spies definitely going to spy on Madrid. Got to suspect. I suspect we will be engaged in an action here. Although, can we not get... That's really annoying. Spain, 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 Spain. Peace, and I'm going to pay you... 10 grand. <laughs> you dumb SOB! Because now I can do this! <laughs> For 10 grand, that problem goes away! Um, so the reinforcement army is pretty beat up. They've got a whole bunch of cavalry coming in. 12 pound guard artillery. Most of our army's in pretty good shape though. The auto resolve thinks we're screwed. Um, but yeah, they've not got the uh, the troops to back it up. Oh no, we got intercepted by the reinforcing army. I was gonna well, I was gonna fight you anyway, whatever. Let's take you on. Because if I fight this army. If I fight this uh, <laughs> this battle, then the force will... Ooh, this map. Um, and then the uh, the Spanish army will teleport because we they, we have no agreements to share... Um, to have military access. Okay. So on Delta Line, push up the middle. This is quite a good... Okay, I don't want to... Eh. My 12s aren't great. They're going to... Well, my 12s are going to stick behind my line with my 6s. My howitzer is going to drive up. It's going to follow my line. I am reluctant to send a portion of my army up here for fear they might get caught out. I would rather drive them up the left... So my force can still provide, is still, um, uh, not contiguous is the wrong word, but it's a, uh, it's all homogenous. Oh, homogenous isn't the right word either. Uh, I suppose it might be good to put some cavalry on the right just to prevent them from sweeping down from here. French reinforcements coming in from right at the back of the map, which is just fine. Enemy artillery is going to engage, but there's not really a huge amount we can... Maybe if we put them back here, they could have done something. Focusing on. Focusing on my infantry, which isn't great for them, to be honest. Well, we know their infantry is hidden somewhere around here.
don't know, maybe it might be a good idea to unlimber my 12s to see what we can do. For in how it's arranged, that's pretty good. Beginning to get General Staff, General Staff. Chasse Chasseur à Cheval de la Garde. More Chasseur. So they're engaging my heavy cavalry. Not not great, but not a not a huge problem either. Let's see if you kill my own men. It's you're okay. I don't know, I hear that cavalry charge, but it's positive because that means it's coming in from a real long way off. Especially as it looks like it's a general's bodyguard. Both of them. My howitzer is going to focus on the Volpager on the right flank. Yeah, my guys are going to be a bit knackered. Actually, to be honest, let's send cavalry unit around the flank. Both of them. They're not going to push my infantry off of this position. Form this unit into square as well, just to provide a bit of protection. Cavalry up. I'll try and knock out that regiment fairly quick. 17th light horse are charging in. Looks like they're actually going to commit. They've broken off from our square formations. We need to make some rapid progress up here because they're starting to really do a number on my infantry. Go on, Chasseur à Cheval. God, some guys just got absolutely direct hit by a cannonball. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Oh, good. This unit couldn't form square in time. So I'm like, okay, let's form this one into square. Yeah, General's bodyguard's gonna go down. We're making some good progress towards their guns. So much so, you're going to actually break ranks and charge the guns to get rid of them. And limber my 12s, get my general staff over here. Because they will not take kindly to that. I could push my cavalry up here to threaten them, but I like them coming directly at me, at me down here. So it looks like their ca their um, cavalry does want to go. Foot guards, eh? They look pretty good. Yeah, my lifeguard against their gunners. The 
Uh, they should break. Yeah, they did break. Form my lineup. It's like all this cavalry, but the problem is the cavalry can't run through the infantry, so they're getting bogged down. The light, the ho horse guard should go down. As they spread along my line. The more effort we want to spend... ...countering them. The cavalry's trying to charge on the flank. Massive cavalry charge, actually. But again, they did have a lot of cavalry. It's a bit like active square management. You have to keep going. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It's all coming in. Where's my cavalry? Push you guys up into the action. Everyone that's even near the front line is just gonna <laughs> try drop into square for the most part. A lot of cavalry. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Too late. You couldn't drop into square in time. That's a bit of a danger. You men run into the point. Here, where's my... You men run into the square, you men run into the square, you men cease fire. I mean, that's such a massive cavalry charge. move these troops up. So I don't even need to send my cavalry in to, ch to counter it. Not really, but I'm gonna. I think well, that is all their cavalry routing. Largely, there's a horse guard unit that's still kicking around. But they should be they should be knackered. So you might start to see infantry coming in, guns are coming in, we're gonna see a lot of units coming in once all these cavalry have routed. Pull my cavalry back. Form you guys into square. Draw in that last unit of horse guards. You men halt, fire at will, just so my cavalry still has an exit route through our line. <laughs> A lot of broken cavalry units. So we've got cavalry coming in on the left. The howitzer fire needs to focus on the core of infantry. Okay, now my cavalry. You go over here, go over here, go over here. Chamfer off this corner. Get my general to support the right flank. The 
Some of the cavalry is coming back. But it will be to their detriment. Go on, General, get over here. Drop and inspire. Artillery's not really. Eh, maybe if I get up onto this raised raised ground here. Go on, everyone! Open fire. A bunch of cavalry inside the town there. My guards run into the enemy position there. The light infantry is starting to fall on the right flank. Still on their way. To be honest, you guys can do something like this. Let's try and perform a bit, make a bit more of a resilient line. The light foot. Well, they're going down rapidly. General's bodyguards going down. Keep my infantry on guard mode. Run them into the square again, as is tradition. We have killed their generals, sir. Now they must break. There we go. One of their generals has been killed. Killed trying to flee the field. Abandon their men. Who's that? Chevaux Leger Lancers. Horse Guard Dragoons. Hussars. Nah, I'm okay with my infantry doing heavy lifting. Get my pikes back into square. There's a whole lot of dead cavalrymen here. Dragon de Imperatrice. Proper. That's like the Colonel from Sharp. Charge the Grenadier unit in the flank with, with just a militia. Rally and inspire my men to victory. Cavalry up here quickly. My militia is gaining more experience. The foot guards are falling to Swedish peasants. Huzzah! Cavalry keeps getting drawn in. Artillery, line, infantry, veterans. <laughs> I've lost a lot of men, but they're still trying. I know I've got my cavalry here not doing anything, but they they don't not no, don't really need them. The light horse go hit the light foot. My light cavalry just annihilated that infantry unit. Let's get my infantry around to defeat the remaining 
French positions. That's the unit you don't want to let go. So it looks like that might be it. Got some veteran line infantry in, but they can see the rest of their uh, army is just scattered. How it's a uh, just ceasefire, ceasefire for good. What was this? Artillery and artillery. Okay. Send my hussars on a flanking run. The same as my horse guards. Hello, there's the enemy horse guard. They've came back. Let's see who they want to face off against my militia. All my cavalry. So I think we might be able to, well, we should be able to mop up the 11 foot guards. Get this militia into square. But my heavy cavalry is going to fall upon them first. Cavalry destroyed. Okay, they are actually bringing in troops now. So what I'm gonna want to do is to probably... I think all these guys are pretty depleted as it is. But I'm gonna want to form up and bring up my artillery. Yeah, we can run through the active battle zone because it won't be a battle zone in the future. I don't think we're going to get our sneaky attack on the the guns. To be honest, they can't really do much because uh, there's too many buildings in the way. There we go, so let's reform our line, see what we've got to work with, give the men a rest. Because there's a whole other French army coming in now. Yes, my men are tired. They are entitled to a break. Yeah, you... No, you can maintain your strength and your sanity and come back to the line. So let's speed up time some. Let my men get into position. So you have a new French army to deal with now. Well, I might put my sixes in here. Put my twelves in here. There we go, because we know we can see they're coming in right at us. So let's take this easy. Form up foot guards. So my French is terrible. Veter veterans, just grenadiers. That's the unit of old guard. Pretty darn sure. Young guard. 
I'm presuming that's what the, the even though it says jaune, that's kind of so from my French that's it means yellow. Well, I presume they mean yellow as in young or inexperienced, not yellow as in cowardly. Well, the 10th foot guards are coming back into position. The Moyenne guard? Middle guard, I guess? Because I know they did have young, old and middle. Limba. You're going to be fire it well off, and you're going to be fire it well off. But we are going to pivot you guys like so. Knock you guys backwards a little bit. Yeah, your fire will turn off. Chill out. This is quite an elite grenadier unit. Three chevrons. But then again, some of my guys are pretty darn elite as well. 7th Regiment Militias. No mom and pop outfit, I'll have you know. Kill the artillerymen, please. So you men make ready. How it is just move up in general a little bit. Let's pivot our guns to be more angled more inwards. There we go. There's one unit of artillery. I'm sure they had two. Unless that was the second, somehow. They could get my guns to fire cannons to shot. Blast the veterans, because it looks like these men are going to come in in good old fashioned column formation. You men, all my foot guards are slap bang in the middle with an Indelta unit on either flank. Okay, so the, that cluster's just come into range. Ah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to attack. Oh, the 12 pounders aren't going to be used, used, I don't think. Send a horse guard unit to the rear. We may see some enemy reinforcements come in, in which case we might have to retreat, but if we do, we do. Okay, who's that? The middle guard, it looks like, are going to be pushing the left. Well, what's left of them? Haha! <laughs> Kindness to shot the old guard. See the infantry de linea. Do not like the fact that they're about to get encircled. Look at all the carnage. The battlefields look a lot better. the old guard. They're charging down the guns. But they are very tired.
There's my general. <laughs> if we had barrage, I'd be barraging. Oh! Grenadiers have broken down. Human attack the grenadier. The old guard. Oh, okay, they were hidden. Charge my cavalry in to knock out their guns. <laughs> they do look awesome, though. There we go. The old guard has broken! Although Napoleon's not there, so it's not really got the same impact. So get my howitzers to Unlimber and begin dropping shells on the 18th foot guards. There we go. Keep on attacking the enemy artillery. Yeah, I'm very, very keen to keep my um, cavalry fresh. Infantry de ligne. Because stuff like this happens. There's always more Frenchmen. Send the light horse in because they're going to surround and destroy the enemy. These chaps are going to try bayonet charge the 47th. Yeah, you should be attacking the young guard because they're right there. these men in to get their bayonets bloodied put up with a hell of a lot of crap those guardsmen units especially the, the this is well I suppose they are level four veterancy Could lose a few more men. Oh, the grenadiers came back. Okay, let's speed up time now. If we're just mopping up the occasional French unit, then there's not really much point in going, spending too much longer on this battle. So the Grenadiers are exhausted, so a cavalry charge. Well, my guys could route, but it looks like their Grenadiers, the 6th Regiment, are about to route first. There we go. So this was... This has really drawn this episode out a bit longer than I planned. Well, there we go. Lost 900 men. They lost nearly 3,000. Nearly their entire force, actually. So they've been pushed back. Mr. Skaldebrand. And we're going to bring um, Castle into the fold. But looking at the timer, I think it's definitely time to end the episode. So, actually, one thing we are going to do... Mr. Roma, you're no longer needed here. You can get back to Strasbourg. Because these two armies are going to drive south. Well, we're going to hold at Kassel. We're going to hope the French take Stuttgart. Then we're going to drive east. Uh, when we've taken this territory, the Spanish army will teleport away. 
you're next turn going to attack Khan. Paris is still um, okay with us. Reams is mostly okay with us. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take Mr. Skaldebrand and attack the remnants of this, <laughs> of this army garrisoning castle. So thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.